Assalamu alaikum. Happy Ramadan. After a long time, I'm back with new application. So, today I'm gonna show you how to select multiple images with block pattern. So, let's get going. I have created a Flutter demo app. As you know, in block pattern, there's logic part and UI part are separated. So first, we will implement logic part and then we will implement UI part. To implement block pattern, we have an awesome extension that helps to write code effectively. So first, we will install that extension and that will start implement block pattern. So in VS Code, to install any extensions we need to click on that icon and here we have to search block extension so I'm going to type BL to find out block extension here you can see block extension so we need to install that extension the extension support block library and have some shortcut to write code effectively in logic part, there's three things, event, state, and block. So I'm going to create a folder where we will generate three files, event, state, and block with block extension. So I'm going to call this folder block. After created the folder, select the folder and right click of your mouse. Then you will see block, new block, just Click on that. Here we have to put a name, let's say product, and enter. At the bottom, we can see successfully generated product block. Let's open the folder and the first file. Here we can see the URL doesn't exist. To fix that, we need to install block library. So, in pubspec.ml file, we need to add the line and save the file now the errors gone first we will create event we need two events for selection and for unselection so i'm going to create a class and giving its name unselect multiple image event and extends the product event And for the second event, I will just copy it and uh, paste it over here and change the event name and select. So we have two events on select multiple image event or unselect multiple image event. Now let's create state. Here we will get rid of this initial state and abstract keyword. We just need a simple class. And a variable to store list of image file so I'm gonna add final field list angular brackets to specify its type its type I'm gonna specify X file and then variable name images final field must be initialized so we need to construct this field product state parentheses curly brace Curly brace means this field is required. Let's see here. Oh, I have missing the null error operator. In type, we need to add question mark for null safety. Let's see this now. This type comes from image picker library. Let's import the library using quick fix. Now, if we go to block file, we can see image picker library imported. But before we need to install image pickle library. Now let's back to state file. Now I'm gonna call copy with method so that the images field can replace with the new value. So product state copy with parentheses curly brace. Inside curly brace we need to provide fields that field will replace with the new value. Here we will use arrow function. The required images parameter we will call over here. 
so that the copied method can assign new value to the given field. Now we will also add this field in on select multiple image event. Now let's work on block file. The initial state doesn't exist, so here would be product state and get rid of this line. In block 8, there are some changes. In new block map event to state method replaced with the uneven type method. The uneven type method will allow us to register an event handler for event subtype and every single uneven takes two parameters event and emit. Here emit replaced with state. Okay, now I'm gonna create two filter functions, one for unselect event and another for on unselect event. So feature is type void and the function name unselect multiple images and curly brace. This function will have two parameters event and emitter. In block, every single on event takes a method that pass two parameters the input event and the emitter. As the function takes event and emit, so we can replace the method with the parameter and here event type would be this event. So let's copy it and paste it over here. Now get rid of this curly brace. So this way we can register a single event handler. As I told earlier, every single event will have two parameters. So we can replace the parameter with the function and the event type replaced with the first event. Now let's write code for the function. The function will emit the state in response to the incoming event. The image have copy with method. That method will add new value to the image field when an input event is given. As the function feature, so we need to add a sync modifier. Okay, so we are done with one method. Other method will be same. Just change the event on unselect multiple image event. Now to register the on unselect event, let's copy it and paste it over here. And then replace the second method with the parameter and add the second event to the event type. In this state, the copied method will add always an empty list to the image field. So that's all about block. Now we need to provide the block in the main function. To do so, we need to wrap the home property with block provider. The shortcut comes from block extension. Here subject means our block that's product. So here I'm gonna write product. Now let's import product block and block library. Let's see the error. Okay, we need to get rid of this const keyword. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of this title because I'm gonna create a widget from scratch. Let's get rid of this existing widget and I'm gonna create a stateful widget called my home page. The widget should be added to the child property. And the widget will return scaffold widget instead of returning container to provide the block in UI that we created earlier. We need to add here final product block equal BLO. We will use block of shortcut here, subject would be product. And in last semicolon. So we are done with logic part. So now we'll start the UI part. I have run this application to understand what is going on here. So in that scaffold digit, let's go body property. In that, let's create a container. Let's just give its height 150. I'm gonna add decoration property to do some decoration. Let's just give it a color, let's say colors.gray, 200, 
now let's save this file and see what happens the container should be in center so i'm gonna wrap the container with the center widget now let's see what that look like okay now it's centered but i know little margins both sides so let's just add margin property that would be if insets dot symmetric horizontal 20 let's save that and okay now i know little radius all corners so let's add border radius that would be border radius the circular just give it eight uh i think two will be fine well now looks good i'm gonna add an icon in tile property in that so let's say icon icons that photo camera you can choose whatever icon you like but i have this photo camera icon okay now we need to make it center aligned so alignment that would be alignment dot centered now it's fixed to the centered now let's make this icon little bit bigger so just give this to be 80 okay now change the color also color to be colors dot gray okay now it's look cool to make this clickable let's wrap the container with the widget and rename it inkwell and in that let's say on tap property okay now if i click on that it's clickable now okay so in that first i have added image picker library to access its all methods now i'm gonna create another variable final list its type x file and variable name images equal this picker variable to access its all methods and there's we just need pick multiple image method as this will happen in future so we need to add await curate let's see the error okay we have to put a question mark after the type let's say let's try quick fix to add async modifier like that by this method we will able to select multiple images that images will be stored to the images variable now i'm gonna just add a condition if images not null then it will take on select multiple image event that's all to select multiple images let's save that and test it we are able to select multiple images we just have to show on that so in child instead of returning icon we just return block builder so wrap the container with block builder here subject would be product and now get rid of this return and the curly brace because we are going to use arrow function if state dot images not null then it will return lsb builder that means whenever image is selected then it will return list view otherwise it will return icon widget okay now in list view builder let's add item count that would be state dot images dot length for null checking we need to put a bank operator after that in item builder would be parentheses underscore comma and i here underscore means 
uh, replaced with context and here i in short of index and then error function it return container let's just give its height 100 and width 120 let's add decoration box decoration in that let's add image property that takes decoration image it's record image parameter so here would be file image that takes file mm, here would be state dot images square bracket i dot path get rid of this now let's scroll at the top and get rid of this library and import dot i library and let's see okay here we just put the bank operator there we go we can see selected image on the screen it worked perfectly though i wanna make images fitted to the box to do so i'm gonna just add fit property that would be box fit dot cover let's save that i think now that's look good uh let's give a padding over here so scroll up a little bit in list view let's say padding that would be even sets dot symmetric horizontal 10 and vertical 5 okay now i am not change the scroll direction so let's add scroll direction property that would be axis dot horizontal now it's scrolling horizontally let's try another images that's completely fine but i wanna add margin over here to separate each images that would be is in sets dot only left five and also right that would be five uh, in middle have much space i think throw is fine okay now that's completely fine let's try another images that's for today i hope this video will help you to understand blockade clearly thank you